Hey, uh, Bud Rice here from BRL Guitar Works and ComparisonForum.com. I uh, got a couple of special uh, guitars in here today, and I just wanted to make a video to show everybody. Um, well, you know, enough en enough of me talking. Let me just uh, show you the guitars and do the talking as uh, as I show you. So let's pull this camera back here and let's see what we got here. So on this side here, we have a 2009 or 2010. Actually, this is under 2010. Um, Dellinger MC Titanium, uh, very very nice guitar. Uh, it's got a very it's kind of got it's got like a very matte finish. Like it's actually very cool. Um, it, unfortunately, I don't I don't think the camera can actually capture the actual color and um, how this guitar actually looks because it seems like, like at least on the on my display screen that it seems a little bit a little bit uh, brighter at least with the with the with the, with the light reflection. However, that's not all. We also have a one of the original first batch um, 2009 Dellinger MC uh, MC Aluminums. Actually, this one, this one, this model here has actually been discontinued. Um, this one here actually belongs to um, CJ87 from the for, uh, from the form, and that belongs to uh, now actually that one that one sold to one of my local clients here in Toronto, but um, yeah, with the with the aluminum ones over here, it's it's got a similar finish to the. Um, to, to the titanium, except the finish itself is actually a fl a aluminum metal fl metal flaked aluminum of some sort, and this one was was actually discontinued due to finish problems. Uh, one of the well, the problem itself was that the the finish itself over time would actually flake, and uh, so because of that, and, and because of this was a, because it was actually uncontrollable, uh, Ataru at comparison decided to just eighty six the the whole the, the, this whole uh, color. Um, this one this model here. Um, with the, this, this came off the first batch that they made, and they were all rec recalled. Um, there are some exceptions, actually. The, out of that first batch, not all of them were actually uh, um, recalled to have the finishes redone. And what they actually ended up doing is, you'll, it's kind of hard to see, but if you look at it closely, you'll, see, you'll notice that there's a, there's a bit more glare. You can actually see it right over there. You can see that glare there. That doesn't exist on the actual metal flake, or the, the actual metal finish. Um, that glare is actually the, a clear coat, just a uh, a uh, polyurethane clear coat that they that they use to clear coat all their other standard guitars. Um, so on this one here, you're getting um, you get the metal finish, but then they they protect they kept the thing from flaking by using the by you putting on the uh, the clear coat. And if you're wondering why they I, they didn't just keep doing the clear coat, it's because really realistically the clear the when you apply the when they applied the clear coat onto the guitar, uh, it did change in, in some of the the fundamental tone that the that the metal finish originally gave because. With the with the metal with the metal finish, the idea behind it was that um, by applying actual metal metal to the finish, you would have gotten more you would have got a some more resonance out of it because you're basically adding like a metal layer on top of the guitar um, just just so it would vibrate a, a little differently. But um, yeah, uh, some close-ups of the guitar. Uh, neither one of these have been worked on by me yet. They they just arrived literally uh, yesterday. And at the same time, from two different places. Uh, but yeah, eh, both brand new. Um, close up of the uh, Dellinger 2 uh, MC Titanium there. Uh, nice shiny ebony fretboard. The uh, little Dellinger logo there. About it. Uh, feature wise, uh, it's actually interesting because I actually have both a, a standard Dellinger and a Dellinger 2. Um, standard Dellinger with an, with an SSH uh, config, and the Dellinger 2 with the two uh, HH pickups. Um, basically, uh, compared to the standard uh, Ender Dellinger, these ones actually have the, uh, the PHBCs on, uh, in the bridge position for, on both of them, actually. And the difference between the, BH, the, P, the, B, the PHBC and the PHR is that the PHBC actually is, is EQ'd uh, a bit flatter, whereas the PHR actually has more of a, uh, a mid boost, uh, not more like a mid boost, but it, the, the mids on the PHR are a bit more accentuated, so it has more, more of that upper, upper mid mids in there. Um, great if you want more of that chug, uh, but if you want just an overall bigger sound, the, the, M, the, the BCs actually work out a little bit better. Um, nothing else too fancy about the uh, standard you know, shader FR2 uh, bridge. 
Um, I forgot what the two singles are, but I think I think they're the same. They're, they're the same as a, as a standard Dellinger. Um, both have the bow necks on them. Both bolt-ons. Uh, about it, actually. I mean, they're fantastic playing guitars, very much like the, the standard the standard uh, Dellinger two. But you do, but you're, what the difference you're paying for is just the metal flake finish, which does actually change into the, uh, the tone. Once again, that's uh, it. Tonally, uh, even when you play it acoustically against another uh, standard Dellinger two, you'll notice that these ones here are just a bit, just a, a tad bit brighter. Uh, totally, tonally compared to uh, say a, a Dellinger two uh, uh, natural mahogany or the uh, pro black uh, model. Um, about it, um, both both are here for the premium package. Um, Chris over here has actually purchased at least three or four uh, comparisons from me, and uh, well. We're going to be getting everything, we're going, to, we're going to get it all set up to the same specs as all his other guitars. And um, this one over here uh, belongs to uh, Baron, um, one of the locals here. Um, also here, oh, it's, also, it's also going to be going in for the, for the premium package. Uh, what, uh, what's included? If you, haven't seen, if you haven't seen the rest of my videos, it's just, well, just see the rest of my videos. It'll tell you, but if you really don't want to go... It's the uh, brass block, uck, and uh, ESP arming adjuster, uh, noise of springs, and uh, um, and my uh, vintage comfort uh, package, which is really just the uh, the neck back, the uh, the scallop, the, the edge scalloping, and I think I'm forgetting some the uh, rolled edges and and rounded fretboard or rounded fret ends. Um, either way, standard stuff for what for what I do. Um, you, if anyone's looking at one of these ones, these aluminums, um, you won't be able to get them. If, if you can find them, they're all going to be used, or you might find one or two uh, floating around eBay. If you, you, you can, you can try contacting me if you if you really are looking for one. I can try looking for one. Um, there's only I'd say eight made, something like that, maybe maybe less. They use they're usually made in batches of three, four, or eight usually. Um, on, uh, I think on this, on these ones, they're very limited, so, I mean, I've only seen maybe five so far, and there's probably a couple more that are, that are, that are floating around somewhere. Um, uh, Tim Miller from, uh, the Protest of Zero brought one in, but it was actually a Dellinger 2. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, the, if you wanted the, the Titanium, that's still available. Um, between the two, I personally like the Titanium one a little bit better. Um, even if, even if they didn't have the, 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 the finish problems on the aluminum, I still would have gone with the Titanium. Um, it's, like I said, it's hard to see how, how great this thing actually looks like uh, in person, but uh, uh, yeah, I think I've talked enough. I'll just uh, shut up and, and just let the pictures here uh, speak for themselves. Uh, that, then there's that corner, there's this corner, more of the fretboard, and back on this one. Yeah, uh, I think that's good enough. Uh, if you have any questions, shoot me an email, info at brlguitars.com, or uh, just find me on the forum at comparisonforum.com. And once again, this is uh, Bud Royce from BRL Guitar Works and comparisonforum.com. And uh, yeah, until next time, bye-bye.